My family came from Ireland and the uh, How do you get them pregnant? We are fishing have to have the proper equipment. All your life? Yeah. As a breeder? Yes. Well, my first time touching a hog. Really? Yeah. Viewers, so this is not part of the cooking show, all right? <laughs> I just came in contact with... Uh, Kelly. Kelly. Kelly, what do you do? I'm a draft horse breeder. Draft horse breeder. We breed Percheron draft horses. This is actually my first time, you know, getting close to a horse breeder. We, we're gonna be asking some questions and we need to know more. Sally, nice meeting you here. Nice to meet you, Isaac. Uh, sorry, I wish I wish I have my, my, my tripod, but then you guys should forgive me. So Kelly, uh, how long have you been doing this? All my life. All your life? Yeah. As a breeder? Yes. What, what, fifth what? generation breeder. Fifth generation breeder. If you if you say fifth generation, what do you mean? My family came from Ireland in the before the famine. Okay. And uh, we've been breeding draft horses ever since. Draft horses. And when you say draft, do we have types of uh, horses? Yes, as opposed to a race horse or a saddle horse or a pleasure horse. Okay. These horses are bred for work, for pulling heavy heavy, heavy wagons, okay. uh, cargo in the city years ago. Um, they're meant for agricultural work, for heavy work. Okay. They won't do me anything? Nope. <laughs> All right, Kelly. Hi there. <laughs> so can you share some insights into the care and the training of the horses? Uh, these horses are fed a diet of hay and grain. Okay. Uh, they're fed daily. Okay. Several times per day. Okay. Uh, and as far as training goes, we have a new foal here, as you can see foal is three days old yeah. and already the training has started oh. so imprinting takes place within a few hours uh -huh. uh, and this allows us to gain access to the horse uh, make the horse feel comfortable in our presence and uh, generally make it a more quiet docile animal oh i see and then the new baby is very very big yes oh, how come how come because they're born at about 10 percent of the mare's body weight uh -huh. so if the mare weighs 2,000 pounds the foal is born at approximately 200 pounds per weight. 200 pounds yeah day one it weighs 200 pounds okay yeah. okay so how do you how do you get to know whether they are male or they have been once they are born <laughs> you, you check by the uh, you look for the package the package yeah, yeah. <laughs> have to have the proper equipment that's right yeah to do that so kelly what are the key aspects of managing a successful horse breeding operation a lot goes into managing a breeding operation, but yeah. uh, knowledge of nutrition, mm -hmm. uh, knowledge of uh, reproduction, okay. and uh, knowledge of animal care and, and animal health. Can you, can, you, can you just elaborate on them for me? Well, uh, it takes 340 days for a foal to be born. Okay. So the gestation period for a mare is 340 days. Uh, mares usually stick to that number of days okay. throughout their reproductive cycle. Okay. Uh, so if a mare goes 340 days this year, mm -hmm. she'll probably extend that gestation period to 340 days throughout her lifetime. Lifetime. Yeah. I see. I see. Very big one. <laughs> this mare is about 18 hands high. Okay. She weighs almost a ton. Probably maybe you guys may go into some challenges, right? So what are some of the challenges you've been facing within these horses? One of the key challenges that we've, uh, biggest challenges that we've experienced lately is uh, gaining access to veterinary care for our, our horses. We don't have a veterinarian resident in this community that will look at a horse. 
So our veterinarian has to travel for at least an hour and a half to get here. To get here. Uh, that can be very costly That's at times, right. uh, and it can be very inconvenient, right. especially when time is of the essence. That's right. And then mind you, we are in Ottawa. I mean, we are in Chauville, right? Yes, Chauville, Chauville is Quebec. kind of Quebec. 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 English oh. occupied Quebec. All right. Oh, so because I was wondering when I got to Chauville, I thought it's going to be French, no. but I see most people speaking English. Yes. This is an Irish community okay. settled here in the 1820s Ooh. and uh, we've been around for a long time. Okay. We helped settle the Ottawa Valley. Oh, I see. What, what, what is the history? <laughs> the history is we came here after Philman and Wright. So one of the major challenges is the veterinary. Yes. What, what about, I mean... Some the of the other challenges we have are, are getting these mares back in foal. After they've had their foal, we need to rebreed mm -hmm. as soon as possible. Uh, and that involves artificial insemination for us. Some of the challenges that we face are uh, importing semen through uh, the United States and, and through Canada Customs. Uh, we require permits to have semen imported into the country okay. so that we can artificially inseminate these mares to some of the best stallions in the world. Oh, I see, I see. What is the insemination? Insemination is where we don't use a stallion. Mm -hmm. We collect semen from the stallion at a remote location have it analyzed at that location and then shipped anywhere in the world. Oh, and we, we pick it up at the airport and uh -huh. uh, within a number of hours, we have the mare bred again Okay. Uh, with the fresh semen. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Well, well before I jump into my next question, do you, do you sell them when you, ra I mean, you Yes, we them? raise horses to sell mm -hmm. them. Uh, we also show at fairs and local competitions. Okay. But uh, these mares are bred uh, to be sold and hopefully someone enjoys them oh, as much as I do. That's right. Oh, no, no, I see, I see him fall. I just missed an important part of the interview. You know, I just saw them rolling on the floor and then uh, dancing on the floor. I don't know if uh, he was dancing. <laughs> Not really dancing. She wasn't dancing. More right? of a stretch and a scratch. And just to have a realization. Yeah, just it's part of their so. daily routine. Okay. They do it several times a day. Makes them feel good. You could go in there if you like, Isaac. Yeah? They won't do me anything? No harm done at all. Really? Nope. So horse don't harm? She's very quiet. Okay. Very docile. She's used to being handled. Okay. Used to having harness, uh, wear harness. Uh-huh. So they're used to being handled and shown, bathed, washed, clipped. I see. Yeah. I see. Um, I'll soon go in, but before that, we'll, we'll do the interview first. <laughs> Kelly, do you, do you have any upcoming breeding or, you know, foaling plants that you are kind of excited about? Yes, uh, this mare foaled about three days ago. Okay. So we're going to rebreed on the foal heat. The foal heat typically occurs uh, anywhere between six and ten days prior to uh, post foaling. Oh, I see. So as soon as she comes into heat again mm -hmm. or has an estrous cycle, okay. we'll rebreed with artificial insemination as soon as possible. As soon as possible. This shortens the window uh, for number of days to be open or not pregnant. And we like mares to be pregnant all the time. Oh, you mentioned about pregnancy. So how long did it takes them to, to, takes to, to get pregnant? It takes 340 days. To get pregnant? To be pregnant, to give a foal. Oh. Yeah. How many, how many horses do you have so far? Six mares. Six. All, all female. Mares are females. Oh, Mary's? Mares uh, are females. Mary's are females. Stallions are males. Stallions are males. All right, viewers, due to time, I think Kelly has to go, right? Yes, I have to leave, so uh, it's been a slice. Uh -huh. It's been a real pleasure to meet you, and uh, right. I hope this uh, has been informative for you. All right, but before that, can you just walk me through quick? Sure. It's gonna be dark in here. <laughs> so give us. So this is our stable, mm -hmm. and uh, normally mares are tied in here. Okay. And this full foaling area here is a uh, box stall that we use for having new foals. Okay. So the mare was in here on Saturday night, and she had her foal, and uh, 
everything went well. That's great. That's great. And then I see, I see these things. These are stalls and gates, just uh, equipment that we use every day. Some some bedding. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Some grain oh, over here. Some grain over there. Yeah. <laughs> Stored in containers to keep rodents away. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much. You're welcome. It's been a slice. I'm very grateful. <laughs> All right. So guys, thanks so much for sticking around to watch us. I'm very grateful. And that's our new farmer here. No, an old one. An old farmer. <laughs> <laughs> See you soon. Bye bye. Bye. Right. Very big one. <laughs> this mare is about 18 hands high. Okay. She weighs almost a ton when she's mature. I see. I see. Mm. Very big one. <laughs> this mare is about 18 hands high. Okay. She weighs almost a ton, which is much. I see. I see. Mm. I gotta run, Isaac. All right, Kelly. Thank you so much. You're welcome.